Hi guys, I'm Mike. And I'm Stephen. And this is F1 Fanatics. Welcome back to F1 Fantasy Weekly and what a race we had on Sunday for the last five laps. For the last five laps. No, in fairness, you know, on reflection, we added there, there was some good midfield action, but like we said in our race review podcast yesterday, it probably was the the worst of the oh, four races that we've had. Six. Yeah, oh. I did. Brutal. Oh. Which spoilers. Is spoilers are that. Well, they've already seen it. And I'll tell you why it's a terrible race. Because <laughs> my fantasy went awful! No! I'm out. I'm done. Okay. Stephen, you're doing fantasy. I'm oh! Done. Hi guys, I'm Stephen. And I'm now F1 Fanatics. <laughs> but it's just me now. I've cooled oh, off. He's back. I'm back. I'm, I've, I've cooled off. He nice. uh, suffered from what is known as... No, no save gate. No, no save gate. <laughs> it is. It takes many victims. No save gate, and uh, when it hits you, it hits you. And um, well, to be fair, it was Nico Hulkenberg for Kimi, wasn't it? Kimi only would have got you one point, but Hulkenberg got you minus twenty three, twenty six. Um, but we'll come on to that. Let's let's just round up those point scorers. I give up. Shroud up with this. Let's move on. Let's I give stay, up. stay positive. I'm out. Let's, let's, let's tap out. Let's I'm gone. Who did do well? <laughs> <laughs> well I, I mean, it's so good to have Lewis Hamilton and <laughs> Mercedes because otherwise, whew, uh, but anyway, handing over to Stephen <laughs> for the stats, for the points, your roundup, top five drivers now. Yeah, I will say oh. I'm going to start posting my spreadsheet on Twitter. And also, on Mondays, we will start sending out a tweet going for Rate Your Team. Because we do have a Rate Your Team for this week, but it's one. Right. And well, we realise we probably should do that better for it there. But we've got a Kimmy moment of the week as well. Yes. So, we, yeah. we've got everything to look forward to. Oh, I should run through before we go in. It's a review this preview. It's a carnage. Oh, it's, it's chaos. <laughs> I, was, I was all over the place. Review, preview. What Walk your... out. I'm walking out now. <laughs> We're sorry for the walkouts that are happening in this. <laughs> so, we're going to give you the top five scorers uh, in the British Grand Prix. We're also going to give you the rest of the scorers, uh, well, uh, what the drivers scored this weekend. Also, um, you're going to have the top five constructors as well as the top five, we love a top five here on F1 Fanatics, people in the league. Oh, yeah. Can we see whether it's changed at the top? I'll tell you one person who won't be there, <laughs> me. <laughs> Uh, bam. Bam. Then we go on to the preview because it's the 70th anniversary Grand Prix. We're back at Silverstone again and I've no idea what's going to happen, but we're going to give you our top picks. We're going to give you our guys to avoid. Maybe Nico Hulkenberg. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't know. Well, he might not even be there, yeah. so he, he might definitely be one. Our top pick, to kind of remind you, pick Mercedes. And... <laughs> Uh, oh, other than that, I'll we'll rate Yanni's team and we'll also do our Kimmy moment of the week. So stay around for all that exciting action. But if now, you to get past the carnage at the start. Yeah, now. Yes. Now with, with stats. I'll, I'll do my run through. I'll shut up for a bit. I'll put on Twitter when the video comes out so you can just get it easy there, if you're interested. That was a long admin section. Yes. Okay, the top five. Surprise, surprise. The man, the only one on double streaks for next weekend, the only man that's been in the top five every week, Lewis Hamilton, 44 points. Then, Super Max, that's why I've named him in my spreadsheet, Max Verstappen, <laughs> 42 points. Then we got Charles Leclerc, 33 points, Daniel Ricciardo, best turbo pick, ah, I had a feeling I wanted to turbo him, but I uh, bailed out. And Bottled it. Bottled job. Yeah, so I had a bad week as well. We'll come on to it. Uh, Daniel Ricciardo, 32 points. And then Lando Norris returns to the top five 
with th 25 points. Lando Norris has been in the top five three weeks now. It's impressive. Al Ford. That's impressive. He is joint with uh, the Red Bulls, the amount of times he's been in the top five point scorers. It's ridiculous. What a guy. What a guy. Um, yeah. Any thoughts on those top five? Best toe pick, Daniel Ricciardo. Charles Leclerc uh, pulled out again. but Daniel Ricciardo finally got the points that I thought he would. Yeah. And I feel like he will be coming into my team for this week. But wait for that in the preview. Yes. Uh, okay, so I'll just rattle off the other ones. There is a one I'm very happy about. I may touch him. So, Pierre Garsley, fantastic performance from him, 22 points. Uh, Esteban Ocon, 20 points. And George! He's finally scored points! He got 18 points. Cheapest driver in the game. 18 points. Bargain? The Latifi's gone up to 6.3 million. I know. How incredible is that? George is still 5.9. Should have got Latifi. That would have been major bucks making that. Yeah, he would have made 0.5. 0.6. 0.6. Because he was, he was 5.7. Jeez, 0.6 with Nicholas Latifi. Incredible. But George gained you points now. Got to jump on the George wagon. Getting the George hope. <laughs> Make me some money. Uh, Album, 15 points. Uh, Lance Stroll, disappointing, 10 points. Tony Driven Nazi, 9 points. Latifi, 8 points. Roman Grosjean, 7. Sebastian Vettel, 6. Valtteri Bottas, oh, 3 points. Oh. Uh, Kimi, 1 point. Sergio Perez, uh, sorry, I see he's still on my spreadsheet. Carlos Sainz, minus 2 points. Kevin Magson, minus 12. Albon! <laughs> Daniel Kvyat, minus 13, and Nico Hulkenberg, minus 13. Magnussen looked like he'd be on for a good race. Magnussen did. The theory was there. It was, it was all falling into place, Stephen. Magnussen, He had a again, great start. He would have been scoring mega points. points. Getting their overtake points. Teammate bonus points, because he was beating Grosjean. Yeah. It was all working. And Alex Albon, he's been watching our videos. That was deliberately. <laughs> I'm calling it. He's deliberately done it. That's 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 what that was. Because uh, he, he, all if he made track position there, then after the second safety car, he would have been able to hold it. But yes, on to the top five teams. Bear with me. Yeah, so out of those drivers, Daniel Ricciardo... Uh, Gasly was good again. Yeah. Gasly's now looking like a decent bet, although for his price still, Lando Norris is I incredibly good. But will Lando's fortune run out? Can, Carlos, can you get Carlos Lando Sainz Norris... Like can you get man. Norris and Ricciardo in the same team? Um, yes, I can anyway. All right. How much money have you but, made? Well, it's mainly Stroll. Stroll's price has gone up by 2.4 million. Everyone was getting him in. As soon as, Checo, as soon as Checo went, everyone was jumping on Stroll. And everyone now hates Stroll even more. What am I looking at? I'm looking for... We uh, hope you stay with us through this short interlude. Bah, top, Please be on hold. Top scoring teams. Oh, you're back. Top scoring constructors. Oh, Red Bull! I was <laughs> so autopilot there. Mercedes. But it's Red Bull. 57 what? points. We've messed up. Have we, though? <laughs> Have we? I mean, it was looking like another mega points of Mercedes until Valtteri Bottas' tyre blew up. And I don't know why they didn't pit them, to be fair. Because they had the advantage over Max to pit for fresh tyres. Well, no, because it was 10 seconds. So, and if Max goes to the end, they may not have been able to catch him. Yeah, fair. Um, Renault, second place. Well, they would. No, they are second place, 47 points. Renault and Red Bull ahead of Mercedes. Well, if you had them this week, that's worked out well. <laughs> It really it should have been a Mercedes top scoring. Uh, so don't... You still need Mercedes. Mercedes got 42 points. Ferrari got 34 points. Uh, a one of... <laughs> 
33 of those were Charles Leclerc. <laughs> <laughs> Williams uh, got 21 points. Sorry? Williams got 21 points. Williams were in the top five. Williams in the top five. Will- <laughs> Incredible scenes here! Everyone, jump on Williams! Maybe you, not. you weren't alone. Nico Hulkenberg was in the most popular turbo picks. Well, that's worked out badly. I didn't choose him to be a turbo pick, though. Yeah, he chose you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. So that's that's the round. Here's, here's, oh, no, here's a note pick. to self. Uh, you know, make sure that you, <laughs> uh, when you are on your teams, we we say this. Check your teams. I assumed naively when I made my changes that those changes would stay the same. Save gate happens to the best of us. No save gate. No save gate. Anyway, we are now going on to the top five in the F1 Fanatics League. I believe C Taggart is the only one who's made it in the top five uh, continuously so far, but judging by the looks of it, he's out. So get out of here. Wait, don't come out. Of here. It's fine. Coming in at P1. Siberian Spinners. He was here last week, wasn't he? I think He's so. He's been here for a few weeks. He's retained top spot. Kobe, K. Kobe. Uh, Lewis, he had Norris, Stroll Turbo, Nico Hulkenberg, Kevin Magson. Looks in, looking like your team right there. It's my team. Just not Turbo Hulkenberg. Smart uh, choice. Uh, then in second, we have Sna- Snail O Racer, 9,000. Snail O Race, 9,000. 9,000, impressive. By S. S. Gimps. So that means it's nine times better than the SF uh, 1,000? Yeah, of course. Okay, absolutely. Uh, Same team, other than instead of K Mag, he's got Antonio Giovinazzi, which got him nine points instead of minus 12. Bam. Sick. Uh, Then in Third, we have Formula Racing by S. Bical. I recognise that name. Uh, and it is my team. No, he's got Bottas. Bottas, Hulkenberg, Norris, Stroll, Russell, Mercedes. Oh, Bottas hasn't worked out. It looks like some of those guys who've used their Mega Drivers early. But we're going to cash on on Lewis next week. Here we go. Mega Drivers for next week, guys. Four. Forza Ferrari. Probably not feeling great. Well, they're probably feeling great after Silverstone with the podium, you know. Yeah. Forza Ferrari. Uh, yeah, Lewis, Max, Lando Norris, Stroll, Roman Grosjean, <laughs> and who got seven points, <laughs> incredibly, and McLaren as his team. 100 feet, not bad. S- staying in that top five. Sorry, that was Forza Ferrari by... S, or oh, why did I try to attempt this name? Uh, Gregora Poulos. Yeah. Probably Greek. You're taking the flag. Oh, it was Greek. <laughs> I didn't even have to look at the flag to know it was Greek. Now, rounding up the top five. No, yes, no. Yes. N- no, there's a joint top five. Okay. Scuderia Dinoco by H. Ake. Uh, he had Lewis, Norris, Hockenberg, Stroll, Giovinazzi proven a popular choice and Mercedes. And the joint other joint fifth team, Grant Team 2 by I presume Grant Wadka. Yes. Hulkenberg, Lewis, Giovinazzi, Stroll, Norris, Mercedes. Some similar teams in there. Absolutely. But joint the top six, top five. There you go. Good job, guys, staying in the top five if you stayed. If you've made it into the top five, well done as well. Congratulations. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And I've hit a hurdle and it hurts. <laughs> it really hurts. It really hurts. Ow! Uh, but that's... Uh, I blame Rox, personally, because she was like going, oh, you know, you can still make up great uh, overtaking positions. And I was like, I'm a massive Nico Hulkenberg fan today. Pans to Racing Point Garage, Nico Hulkenberg getting out the car. Why? <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's that's the review basically. That's the review. Bam! Out the way, smashed it. Uh, now we look ahead to uh, an unfamiliar track, Silverstone. Oh wait, no, yeah, we had it last week. Uh, fantastic. Will we get the tyre drama that we had? You know what, F1 teams generally tend to figure themselves out, quite a thing. I, 
I think that's a one shot only tyre drama. Yeah. But hopefully we don't get safety cars that go into it. But top picks still has to be, uh, just will include the constructor in this one, is Mercedes, Bottas, Hamilton. They're Bottas? Still, it, Bottas is still a top pick. I mean, if you're trying to figure out other things around, having one of the Mercedes driver, preferably Hamilton, Mercedes, that's what you want to do. Okay. Maybe. Oh, Stephen's got... going, Axe Bock, let's yeah. get him out. If, if possible, Lewis and Mercedes. That's the ideal. But if you can only, with working out the rest of your team, get Bottas and Mercedes oh, to have a good team, yeah. then that's still better than nothing. Because he, he usually is looking in the position that he's not really going to finish outside the top three on performance, other than if something goes wrong with his car. Yeah. Yeah, so those are the top takes. Outside of the expensive... Go well, Max Stappen did well, but he kind of benefited. You're probably a kind of solid third there for Max Stappen. But it's better to try a Ford, because I don't think the price difference is too much. You should be able to work out that you can get a Mercedes driver instead of Max. But you may gamble with Max. Uh, but outside of the top boys, uh, don't touch Ferrari and Albon. Yeah. Uh, Renault looked very good. They looked like they had the best race pace out there beyond Mercedes and Red Bull. I think it's fair to say. Uh, obviously, Charles finished ahead of Ricardo, but Ricardo got held up by Grosjean and the DRS train for quite some time. So I'd say Ricardo or Esteban Ocon um, hopefully builds on his best race so far. I still wouldn't include him. Just because I don't think he's going to get any teammate bonus points. No, but he's still solid points. Guy. Yeah, R Ricardo's prime, but considering that he's still 12 million and you can get Lando Norris for that, I'd oh, still. Yeah. It, his price makes him unappealing. And that's why we were talking about maybe signs, but seeing as signs with that late puncher um, is out of streaks, keep signs out for me. Uh, for his price, he's not worth. The difference in points that you'll get for Lando Norris. Yeah. Uh, so Ricardo Norris and <laughs> Alpha Tari, as people will know from watching our kind of F1 fantasies through the season, it's been a bit of a love hate relationship with Gasly. Don't pick Alpha Tari. Pick Gasly as your turbo driver. Don't pick them. Pick Pierre Gasly. I think. I think he's he's now one of the good drivers to go. He, he's. Well, in the two races that he scored, he's almost been in the top five. He does like what? Silverstone as well, so I, I, if you're I looking for a slightly cheaper option, well, he's still around the 11 million mark, isn't he? He's, he's 10, I think. 10. Decent pick for uh, maybe you're looking to get rid of Hulkenberg and maybe bring in Pierre Gersley. But he might be one that might be an investment opportunity as well in terms of get on him early and he might go up uh, 0.5, whatever, uh, over the course of the next couple of races if his performances match what he has been doing. Uh, so, yeah, it could be, could be interesting for Pierre. Yeah. Obviously, streaks, look, thinking about streaks. No one's on race streaks, but you've got a few quality streaks in there. Both the McLaren guys are on quality streaks. Ricardo is on a race streak? Or is he finished? No, I think he's been knocked down Q2, hasn't he? Mm. Who else would be on a race streak? Uh, Quali streak. Uh, Lance Stroll, he's on a Quali streak. Is he? Because they qualified outside the top oh, five yes, in, in Hysteria. Yeah, so no. So it's just uh, Ricardo and McLaren's. Off the top of my head. If you can find some way of getting Ricardo, Norris, Lewis... Mercedes in a team, I think that's very good. Yeah. Without compromising too much on the other points. Yeah. So yes, there's the. I think that's maybe super cheap options. George. George. Finally scored points. He is joint cheapest driver of Roman Grosjean. Roman Grosjean. He may be dangerous out there, but seven points is okay for the cheapest driver on the. Uh, in the game it's not bad 
If you had Nicholas Latifi, I'd cash out on him now. Capitalise on that money you've made and maybe yeah. switch to George and see if you can do the switch and make money that way round. Uh, people to avoid. Raikkonen. Kvyat. Kvyat. Just because I think his price... I think Too Gasly's got the beating yeah, yeah. for him. Um, Ocon, I know you said maybe pick him, but I think for his price, he's not worth the investment. Albon, Vettel, Leclerc. Yes. <laughs> I was just thinking, hey, do I agree? Do I agree? Yes! yes! <laughs> agree! <laughs> uh, but yeah. There you go. Yeah. There's, I, there's your no picks. I'd also watch out for Stroll. I'm not sure. His price massively peaked. You may want to cash out on him. Is the race in point not as good anymore? Stroll, obviously, with very disappointing performance. Um, you, might, yeah. you might want to cash out on him, see if he drops in price, and then you can pick him up again Bring when him. performances goes there. Yeah. I think that would be an interesting one, definitely, uh, on there, and maybe switch him in for a Pierre Gasly, Ooh, for example. Yeah. Uh, that certainly would be interesting on that front, but that's that's probably that's our top picks, no picks. Turbo picks? Turbo picks. Ricardo and Norris. Um, I'll go with... Ricardo Sainz. Sainz, I think, is just better at Silverstone than Norris. Yes, so, if you've got Sainz. Yeah. Yeah, so... Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm still think <laughs> Norris out-qualified Sainz. It wasn't massively. Yeah. And Norris just had a poor start. start. And obviously we know that everything got stuck uh, further along the line. And it seemed like Norris was holding position. Because it's yeah. like Sainz has got a speed up. Yeah. Because he wasn't pushing on the back of it. No. But I'm still confident Sainz will get more points this weekend. Okay, yeah. So I'll right. go okay. so, Turbo, Sainz, Ricardo, and... Pierre! It's it's the Pierre Appreciation Club on this week's <laughs> on Party Weekly. Gasly! I I guess... He's good at Silverstone. Yeah. And yeah. the two races that he's actually finished, one he finished in the top five, and he just finished outside the top five there, didn't he? I think he was six, wasn't he? Yes. It? I've just forced you to kind of go and look. But, yeah, I, I, I think they're definitely the guys who you want to be looking for. Uh, Gasly was six, yeah. So uh, not bad. Not bad. Six, and he was best of the rest uh, in Austria, race one. Yes, so yeah, Gasly. So I think he's he's probably an outside bet that's quite good. Yeah. Quite good, quite good. Uh, but anyway. Could you imagine, wait, one, th four. Oh. Could you imagine if you could turbo Sebastian? <laughs> if the way his price is going, I c he's the only one out of those top three teams I can see dropping below 20. That'd be incredible. But then everyone would push his price back up again. So. But... Would you still be able to turbo him when you got him for cheap? Yeah, because it saves. So if it drops below 19, you immediately turbo. Even if it goes above 20 again, it, it would turbo for one race. But he's not realistically getting many point performances <laughs> that are worth turboing. <laughs> you can still get for six, five million cheaper, Ricardo or Norris. Yeah. And they're scoring more points. So it's it's it's, yeah, it's it's not like it was Albon last year where he was around about 12, 14 mil. Yeah. Didn't he go? And then he was consistently getting top in the back end of last season. Yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, we move with the return of Beat Your Team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, I'm fiddling around in my pocket because I can't get my phone out. We this have... Week, we are joined by Yanni. He is... The F1 Fantasy Expert. How is Yanni actually doing in the league? I don't know. Um, Who it, knows? It's it's tough. Remember, if you want to enter, 
put your team in the comments below, say rate my team, um, or look out for the tweet on Monday, next Monday, uh, and reply to that. And it will come. Yeah. Uh, so, Hamilton, Norris, Stroll, Hulkenberg, Gasly, Mercedes. Now. Say it to me one more time. Hamilton. Yep. Norris. Mm -hmm. Stroll. Yep. Hulkenberg. Yep. Gasly. Mercedes. Mercedes. Norris. I feel like he's... Yanni is the master of the money, and I feel like he's made money to make that team. Yeah. Um, Four? Yeah, it's just the... The racing points, we don't know where they are. Did yeah. they just have a poor weekend? Or are they now lower down the order? Yeah, obviously, again, stuck in the DRS train. You never know if it was the DRS train. Lance Strahd, an off day. Uh, Renault and McLaren catch him racing point on development. Yeah, four Kimmies out of five. That's like four Kimmies out of five. Yeah, it could be a five, depending on how racing point do. Yeah, because in terms of balancing your money, that's that's pretty much as as good as you can get. Yeah, essentially. Uh, so yeah, no, it's it, it's very good on that front. So yeah, well done, Yanni. Four Kimmies out of five. I think there was an improvement on the last time he entered. I think it was like three Kimmies out of five, he wasn't it? He gave us a pretty experimental money. team. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of that. But we come to the end of F1 Fantasy Weekly. With Wait, a Kimmy. Our teams. Oh, God, yeah, our teams. So, my team, I'm changing this up. Um, I haven't finished it up. I, I probably should have finalised this before it's going. But I'm attempting... To do Hamilton, Mercedes, I'm using my wild card. So I'm going to mega drive a uh, Hamilton this week. Ricardo, Norris, Magnussen, uh, Russell. If that isn't possible, switching out Norris for Gasly. Okay. That's what I feel I'm going to go for. Okay, so my current team is Lewis, Ricardo, Hulkenberg, Stroll, Russell, Mercedes. I'm basically looking to offload one of the racing points. If Lance's price starts to fall, I offload him straight away. If not, I offload Hulkenberg. And I should be able to afford Gasly in place of Hulkenberg. So that's what I'm looking at. Offloading, drop in one of the racing points and getting in Pierre Gasly. Definitely good on that front, but I think this is now the time to maybe, if you haven't already, start using your wild cards, start playing around. I think Ricardo, you've now seen enough of him this season that I think he's going to be a strong point scorer throughout yeah. the season. I think he's going to give you good points returns uh, from here on in. Uh, Norris is still a good bet, but it's maybe fluctuating more between the McLaren drivers and maybe someone like a Pierre Gasly will be a uh, more smarter move with your money. And George Russell now, probably, yeah, it's it's hoping that he doesn't, obviously he qualified 15th and finished 12th, so that was good. He needs more of those qualifyings of just scraping into uh Q2. The ones where he qualifies 11th or 12th really stitch you up. Yeah. Because he's not going to finish there unless there's masses of retirements. If he goes 15th, you can definitely bet on him at least getting that position and kind of maybe making up a couple more as well. So I think, yeah. Nice. Nice. So, that then is rounding up F1 Fancy Weekly. And we finish in its entirety with the Kimmy moment of the week. And this Kimmy moment of the week, we usually try to kind of make it triumphant and joyful for Kimmy. It's it's a sad one this week. Kimmy Raikkonen has retired. Breaking the wait, sorry, no. No. It's not official yet. I mean it's <laughs> Could you imagine if that now goes live? Jeez, that would be crazy. <laughs> 
Yeah, Kimi Raikkonen finished dead last in the British Grand Prix. And we don't want to see that from a former world champion. As mm. fans of Kimi Raikkonen, we don't want to see that. No. It sadly was no uplifting. Next week we'll be back with an uplifting Kimi moment of the week, I'm sure. But this week we wanted to reflect on how bad things have got for oh. Kimi Raikkonen. Take a moment, everyone. <laughs> Take a moment. He'll be back. He'll be Kimmy back. will be back. Maybe. He'll be back. Maybe. He'll, he's back. Kimmy, come, come back. back. Kimmy! <laughs> Kimmy! Uh, but that rounds off the F1 Fantasy Weekly on a rather solemn way. But to bring it back up, uh, if you've enjoyed that episode, obviously let us know. Rate your teams in there. Comment how you did in the league this week. Where's your position in the league? How are you getting on? How did your fantasy team score? Did you have... Uh, risk Hulkenberg and get those minus points not even starting the Grand Prix. God, what what would it kind of Yeah, what 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 happened for you? And now, if you're new around here or haven't done so already, wait and see if Stephen can say it. You can, can like, I... you can subscribe, yeah and you can ding that bell. Yeah you can do it! You can do it! Absolutely, you do it. Do yeah. it now. I can't really be able to pro at that now. Nah, it's pretty impressive, Thal, what you say that I'm going to do some coaching sessions on how to say subscribe. I think so. I think you've earned it. Yeah. I think, you know, coming from a place of difficulty yeah. to thou being really a pro people. at it. Yeah. Exactly. You, you can relate to that yeah, journey. Exactly. Yeah. Go through. But yeah, if you're new around <laughs> it, please, please do click it. It helps us out. Drop us a thumbs up on the video. We do appreciate the support that you guys show. But that's it from us, guys. So for now, UF1 fans, keep racing. <laughs>